What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Listen, if you're struggling with discipline, this video is exactly for you, so keep watching. It's gonna be kind of like a real talk today. Usually I use the whiteboard and everything, but I wanna talk to you guys why discipline is important. You know, and what it is and how to build it and everything. Now, let me talk about two principles first. A lot of people that struggle with discipline, they talk about I'm not motivated, I need motivation and blah, blah, blah. And I wanna first explain the difference between these two things. I know maybe you've heard it, it sounds really simple, but I'm gonna explain it again. If you rely on motivation to do stuff, you're gonna struggle in life. That's a really bad place to be. Here, you're not gonna achieve anything. Why? Because this is kinda of like an emotion. Motivation only lasts for like three to five minutes, and then it works down. So you cannot rely on motivation. Motivation is entry level. For beginners, beginners, entry level. You wanna be able to have discipline. Now, why is discipline so important? And why is actually discipline? So I'll tell you my definition of discipline. I'll teach you the principle before we even like jumping how you guys can develop it. Discipline is doing the thing, the things that you know are the best for you and doing it regardless of how you feel. Regardless if you want it or not, regardless if it's raining, regardless if it's freaking there's raining fire, regardless if you're sick, regardless if you had a shitty day, regardless of your emotion, is showing up and doing the work every single day. That's discipline. Because this is the thing. God created two types of people. And I'll tell you guys this one. God created two types of people. Those that they act by themselves, by themselves. And then the other group that is acted upon them. Most people, and maybe you guys are one of this one, most people, 95, probably 90, 99%, belong to this group. Everything, they're acted upon them. They're, you, they're like a TV. If you guys wanna work with a TV, if, you're gonna, if you wanna use the TV, you gotta grab the remote, you gotta use it, you gotta turn it on, use it. Most people are like that. They depend on circumstances for them to act. They depend on the weather, they get influenced by their friends, they get influenced by their emotion, they get influenced by what's going on in society, what's going on in politics, what's going on with their family. All the external stuff influences the internal. Most people are there. They have no discipline. If they don't feel like it, you know what, I'm not gonna go to the gym. Dude, I had a bad day, I, I had a problem with my girlfriend or your partner or whatever, you guys are dating or married or whatever. So I'm not gonna work, I'm just gonna take a day off. I'm just gonna chill, you know, I'm, I'm having a bad day, I don't feel like it, I'm not gonna wake up early, I'm not gonna read, I'm not gonna do the things that are the best for me. Most people are like that. They get influenced by the external stuff, by the environment. One person of people, they are their own agents. They act by themselves. Regardless of what's going on externally, nothing external can control you internally. They choose from themselves. Regardless if it's raining, regardless if it's hot, regardless if they they're either having a shitty day, regardless if they had a personal problem in business, regardless if they're tired, regardless of what's going on, they still show up and do the thing that's critical and they perform. That's a disciplined person. And I want to tell you guys that if you struggle with discipline, you're going to have a tough life. Because discipline is everything. Everything. What discipline does, it takes a regular person that maybe is not talented, is not gifted, but if that person has discipline, you can achieve whatever you want in life. Because regardless if you feel like it or not, regardless if you want to do it or not, you still do it. You still show up and do the work. So discipline is everything. You cannot rely on motivation. That's entry stuff. That's beginner stuff. That's loser stuff. We're not talking about motivation here. We're talking about doing the work every single day regardless if you like it or not. So. There's two things when it comes to when I think how you can actually build discipline in your life. Now, let's think about balance. Let's think about balance, for example. There's two extremes. You're not doing anything, and anything. You're not doing anything with your life, you're just there, you're, you're unmotivated, you're scrolling on TikTok, you're scrolling on your phone, you're just there, you're wasting time, you're wasting your life. 
And then there's this other side here, just too structured. You go to bed at a certain time every single day, you wake up every single day at a certain time and everything. Most people are here. They don't do anything with their life. They're really unproductive. They rely on motivation. They scroll all day. They waste a lot of time. In order for you to build momentum, which that's what we want. I actually had a call with one of my clients today. Momentum, that's what you want. That, the hardest thing for you guys is going to be the starting point. Because you're going from nothing to something. And that's the thing that's hard. Because you've trained your mind and your lifestyle and your habits to not do anything with your life. Therefore, you're used to it. So we got to break that. Now, there's different ways you can do it. You can start with a little bit. And every day you do a little bit more. And every, every day you do a little bit more. It could work. For me, guys, I'm an extremist. So if one day I feel like I'm not doing anything, and if I feel unproductive, what I do, I go to the extreme with it. Because I hate being here. I don't want to be there. I'm miserable when I'm there. I hate that, that uh, version of myself. I'm not happy. I'm not confident. I'm not fulfilled. And most of you guys are there. Not being disciplined, that's a shitty place to be. So what do I do? I take my life to the extreme. What is like too structured. So I focus in building and doing a lot of work as much as I can. And I don't even think about it. I just freaking send it. I don't question myself. And there's no negotiation. There's no compromise. There's no, like, just should freaking do it. <coughs> and when it comes to discipline, the, the problem is most of you guys, you think too much. Guys, you, the brain is super powerful. Extremely powerful. The problem is you use your brain when you don't have to. When you don't have to. Like going to the gym, don't think about it. Just freaking do it. Like, don't use your brain. Literally, don't think. And you're like, Ben, that sounds way more simple. It's easier. So, no, it is, that, it is that simple. Just don't think. Like, put it in your calendar and just do the work. Just freaking do it. Like, that's literally what it is. It doesn't take, like, a special person to develop discipline. And, guys, coming from me, I am a lazy person by nature. If it was for me, I would be watching freaking Netflix all day, every day, scrolling down my phone, and not do a single, not even 10% of stuff that I do right now. I'm a lazy person. I battle with that every single day. It doesn't come naturally to me. It's not in my DNA. I wasn't born with it. I wasn't gifted. God doesn't love me more than he loves you guys. It was something that you guys can develop. And the thing with discipline as well, and I'm going to write it down here so you guys can understand. Discipline is a skill. What does that mean? It's something that anyone can develop. You're not born with it. You're not freaking like you pray and then the thing comes. It's not something that you're acquiring one thing and then you have for the rest of your life. You earn this thing every freaking single day. You can be all disciplined for two weeks. You stop one day, you lose it. You start from day one. That's how it works. It's a skill. It's not something that you acquire. It's something that you gotta do every single day. Confidence is the same thing. It's a mental state. It's something that you got to do every day. Faith is a choice that you make every single day. Discipline is a skill that you develop every single day. It's a battle every day. It's not something that you have one time for the rest of your life and that you don't have to develop. And the cool thing is anyone can develop it. I don't care where you come from. I don't care who you are. I don't care your skin color. I don't care your freaking trauma, the way you were raised when you were a kid. doesn't matter. I don't care where you start in life. You can develop discipline if you want to. If you just do the work. Now with discipline, you're like, okay, man, I want to do the work, but I don't know what to do. Okay, that's not a thing. You first, before in order to start developing discipline, you gotta identify. Identify identify what's critical. What's critical in my life? What are critical things that I need to get done in my life in order for me to get better? And this is another type of discipline. Because again, a lot of people are like, you gotta grind, 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 doing the work. And I'm like, okay, that's really important, but you could be doing wrong work. And if you're not doing productive work or work that is gonna move the needle in your life, you're just like, you're still wasting your time. I see it all the time on Instagram. They're like, see these like freaking cringe videos, guys going to jail, he's like, you gotta be successful. I'm like, bro. Like going to the gym every single day, like four hours a day or twice a day, it's not gonna make you money. Like you gotta do critical stuff that's gonna help you, unless you wanna become a bodybuilder, that's a different game. Most people, they just think by going to the gym they're gonna be successful, that's not how it works. 
Go to the gym is a means to an end. You want your body to be fit and everything so you can perform mentally and show up and look good. That's what it is. Now, when it comes to discipline, which is step number one, you cannot rely on motivation. You gotta do the thing. Discipline is doing the thing regardless if you feel like it or not, and you just do it. Stop thinking, just freaking do it. Now, it's not just about doing the work or whatever work, it's about doing critical work. So, when it comes to being disciplined, what I would recommend you guys is identify what's critical in my life. What are some things that I need to get done? For example, let's say you're not disciplined with your body, let's say you're fat, let's say you're out of shape. Okay, that's something you gotta be disciplined with your nutrition, with your food, and getting your ass to the gym every single day, regardless if you feel like it or not. Like, freaking start doing it. I would even go twice a day, because you're starting from nothing to something. So I was like, I would go to the extreme, and then learn how to control it. Let's say it's your finances, and you gotta be disciplined with your finances, okay? You waste a lot of money, you spend a lot of money on, on dumb stuff. I would be more disciplined in making food at the house, or stop eating outside, and actually doing more work with my nine to five or my financial vehicle, if I have a business or something, I would put more times into that, into critical things in my business so I can make more money. Let's say maybe you're not disciplined in your relationship with God. Perfect. What are critical things that I need to do in order to like develop a better relationship with God? Reading the scriptures every day, reading the Bible, praying, going to church every Sunday, like those are critical things I can do. And I would just identify what's critical I would add them to my schedule and I would just do it. Like literally, identify what's critical and don't think about it. Don't over, like overthink it. Don't double guess, just freaking do it. And then the other thing could be mental. Like maybe you don't educate yourself. You don't read books. You, should, you don't listen. You're not part of something of a good community or you don't have a mentor, all these different things. So I would make time. I would identify what's critical and I would put those things in my schedule and just get them done. Like dude, when it comes to being disciplined, it's just... Getting stuff done. Literally. Stop the, uh, getting stuff done and stuff that is critical, not just anything. I'm talking about getting stuff done that is critical. Because, again, as I told you, a lot of people that are like, you gotta grind, 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 grind. I agree, agree that's like 50% of the formula. Let's take a look at an ice sculpture. What happens once you, like, uh, you, you grind like an ice sculpture for too long, like the image disappears, it doesn't turn into anything. So you gotta grind with a purpose, you gotta grind with a vision, you gotta grind with intention. What is it that you want? What is it that you're trying to create? And then let's grind. Then let's take the unnecessary parts of the ice sculpture so we can make something pretty. Like something that it, like, looks good, some, a vision that I have, now I put it in this object. So anyway, step number one, discipline. Step number two, identify what's critical and then develop, do the thing with the discipline stuff and everything. But guys, I'm telling you, if you don't have discipline, you have nothing. Like literally nothing. Like discipline is everything. It's something that can take somebody regular, lazy, piece of crap, not, nothing going on with their life, to somebody that's achieving stuff, successful, getting stuff done and making something out of themselves. Literally. And, and take it from somebody like me. I didn't have this stuff, but I, and I had to develop it. Discipline, mental toughness, endurance, resilience, grit, all those things are skills that anyone can have. I talk to hundreds of people every single time and they're like, oh dude, I wish I had discipline. What do you mean you wish? You, you can have it, bro. Like, it, do you want it or not? Because this is the thing, you can be like, okay, but then like having discipline is hard. Is it not hard not having it? Dude, life is miserable. You feel like shit when you don't have it. You feel like shit when you like rely on your emotions every single time. And when you rely on the environment and people every single day for you to get stuff done, that's a shitty life to be in. You gotta choose your heart. You gotta like freaking sacrifice now and win later, or you wanna like instant gratification, but then long term when you're 30, 40 or something, you're gonna struggle, dude. Now, that's life. What do you guys want? Again, discipline is everything. You gotta do it, you gotta develop it. Now a lot of people are gonna tell you do it, do it, do it, but now you understand why, because guys, I want you to win, I'm really cheering for you. And if you don't have it, like dude, it's gonna get tough. Most of my life, I live without discipline. I didn't have it. Now I'm a, I feel like I'm a pretty structured person and I try to get stuff done regardless. I don't use my mind a lot. I, I don't. I just put the stuff on my critical things to do in my schedule and I look at it. I'm like, I have made this, this, and this. I'm going to go to the gym this day at this time and these are the stuff I need to get done. I just get them done regardless of how I feel. Now, most of the times I feel pretty good because doing, being productive, being disciplined makes you feel good about yourself. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, drop in the comments, reach out to me. Again, we just dropped a new community. 
there's tons of value in this community. We have weekly calls every single Monday. We have a, a mixing program, a 20 year program is there. It is like $7,000 in value inside, but we're doing it dirt cheap for the first 50 people. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna drop a calendar link so you guys can schedule a call and uh, talk to one of our guys to see if it could be a good fit for you. You can interact with me and everything. So anyway, love you guys. Have a great rest of your day and we'll see you guys later. Bye.